Today we're in the kitchen for a little bit of an experiment and we're going to be looking at the Ultra Custom Holster from 1791. So I've been wanting to try one of these holsters for one of my guns so I finally found one and I'm going to be using it on my P320, my normal carry gun and we're going to be getting it ready to fit the gun. It's a normal leather holster but it's got a layer of basically Kydex in between two layers of leather. Uh, the holster's nice and sewn together properly and it looks, looks real good as far as the, the holster itself. But the Kydex on the inside of it gives you a little bit better retention than the normal leather holster does. At least that's the theory. The packaging from them looks nice. Got a kind of a hologram almost looking picture on the, the front of it here and then just tells you what size gun it's for. This one will fit a P2000-45C, a USP-C VP9, a P229C, 320C, the M1A1, an XDMC, and a XDMC compact with a rail. So you got a lot of different guns that this one holster will fit and this is the size five holster here. So it's the, uh, they go th from one to five as far as the sizes go for the different holsters. Uh, so let's open it up and take a look at it. So this is the holster itself here, nice black holster and it's mounted on to the cardboard to hold everything in place while it's in shipment and everything, but you just take that off the, the backing and it doesn't have the belt clip mounted on it yet. So once you get the holster formed to your gun, then you can put the belt clip on it and it'll be ready to go. So you got the holes for the, the belt clip here and you get two of the same clips, but the holster is sewn together very nicely. Got nice stitching, got 1791 stamped in the backside of the leather there. Got a nice tall sweat guard on the back side of the, the holster. And when you start feeling around on the leather, you can tell where the material is on the inside of it. You can kind of see the outline right here on the, the holster itself, but it's a very firm holster right now. And just putting the gun down in it at this point I mean, you can get it down in there and as snug as the holster is, that would probably work fine for keeping the gun in place. But once we heat it up and get this Kydex on the inside of it warm, then you can shape this thing exactly how you want it for your gun and make it personal for your own gun. And they say in the instructions that you can do this multiple times. So if you have decided to change guns and it's about the same size gun, then you can redo this whole process and make it fit another gun. So that's the holster. And then you have instructions and then it, it comes with a little sticker saying this was the uh, Guns and Ammo 2020 holster of the year. Uh, some more break-in instructions here, and then this is all the parts and pieces that go with the holster. Let's check our water here. Now I'll explain this in just a minute. But this is the different parts that come with the holster. You got two different tools here that you use when you're shaping the holster. You got a plastic bag to put the holster down in, in the water. And then you got two belt clips that you can use uh, for the holster. And then these are the screws for the holster. The way this works is you actually put this, the holster down in water that's around 165 to 170 degrees. So this is got a little bit too hot. So it's gonna have to cool off a good bit before we can do anything because it's up to 190. You start by preheating about a gallon of water up to 145 to 175 degrees. And they've figured out that the kind of the ideal temperature for it to work 
is around 165 degrees Fahrenheit. It says not to use a microwave because the microwave will make the water get too hot and then it just doesn't keep the temperature as well. So while the water's coming up the temperature, you're supposed to get the, the bag out and it's just basically a very thick Ziploc type bag. But take the bag and then they tell you to put a weight in there just to help keep it down in the, the water. So just drop the holster down in the bag and then try to get as much air out of the bag as you can. So we got, got that in there and then we'll just, we'll sit the holster down in the water once it gets back down to the right temperature. And then you keep it in the, the water for the first time for about five minutes and then you check it if it's not soft enough yet, then leave it in there for another two to three minutes to be able to, to get the material on the inside soft enough that you can actually form it with the different tools here. And you also use these tools when you're forming the holster. This one makes the sight channel. So you just you shove that in on top of your gun and you make the sight channel for the, the top of the holster so that the sights don't snag on the inside of the holster uh, when you're drawing the, hol the gun out of the holster. And then here's your, your belt clips. And then the comes with two screws and the, the washers you need for that. And then once the, the holster gets up to temperature and it gets soft enough, then you put the, take it out of the bag here and you put the gun in it and start forming it with the tools. And for the cooling process, you let it sit for five to seven minutes with the firearm in place or until it feels like the, the holster's gotten hard. And then you can, you wanna take the firearm out and practice some draws with it and see if you need to tighten it up or anything. And then if you do, you just heat it back up a little bit and mold it a little bit more. Okay, so we got the water temperature back down to the top end of the range right now. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the holster down into it and we'll leave it in there for five minutes and then we'll pull it out after the five minutes and see how it's doing at that point. Ouch. Okay, so when we're actually going through the process with this thing, the Shaping the holster is not really that difficult. You just take your hands and push it around the different parts of the gun so that it fits in your particular gun. You can use these tools, the sharp pointed one or the more rounded end to push down into the, the leather and the, the kydex to make it as tight as you need it. And the, the more you compress that down into the recesses of the gun, the tighter your fit is going to be on the leather. So once this thing actually gets nice and hard, then it's probably going to be a little bit tighter than it is now. It's still with the leather in there. It's, it's still a, got a little bit of a click to it, but not like you would hear in a normal Kydex holster. Uh, but this is still good and snug for the leather holster. I may, heat it back up a little bit and tighten that around the trigger guard a little bit more just so that I can get a little bit tighter retention on it. But with me just normally carrying the leather holster, I don't think it's gonna be that big of an issue. And once you get it shaped to how you want it, then you just let it sit for a little while until it cools off. And then you can check the retention on it and see if that's gonna be tight enough for what you wanna do. This tool right here is going in on top of the sights and it's forming the sight channel for the gun so, it, so that when you're drawing the, the gun out, it doesn't catch on your sights. So you use that tool to form that sight channel. It just stretches the leather enough to get that in there and you just make sure the gun's pushed in as far as you want it 
and then you can form that around the end of the gun so that everything is shaped like you want it. So that seems to be pretty good right there. So we'll let that cool off. You can do it with or without the, the clip on there. Probably easier without the clip. That way you don't have to worry about the screws. Get it as tight as you want to on there. And then that just creates the, the channel for it. And for the cooling process, you let it sit for five to seven minutes with the firearm in place or until it feels like the, the holster's gotten hard. And then you can, you want to take the firearm out and practice some draws with it and see if you need to tighten it up or anything. And then if you do, you just heat it back up a little bit and mold it a little bit more. For some reason, I had a leak in my bag. I'm not sure what happened uh, on that, whether the, the piece of steel may have poked a, a hole in the bag, uh, but I thought I had it sealed up good when I initially put it in the water. So I'm not sure why water got in the bag on that one. Let the holster cool off a little bit here and we'll see how it's done. So we'll pull the tool out there, pull that out of the gun so you can see that the the holster has retained its shape. So I've already put the the belt clip on it there, but still got the where I've pushed everything into the, the leather there. So let's check the fit. So if you if you listen You can kind of hear it snap into place and I mean the retention is very good on it because I'm having to shake it a good bit to, to get it out now. I could probably heat it back up a little bit more and get it a little bit tighter around the trigger guard but I'm my normal holster that I carry this thing in is a leather holster anyway that is just the tightness of the leather that keeps it in place. So I think this is probably going to be more retention than I normally have anyway. So I'm going to try it and I'll get back with you on how the holster actually does. So we'll do an update on this after a week or so after I've worn it for a while and see how it does, see how I like it. They say you can do this multiple times with the gun to get it to fit exactly like you want it or change it to a different gun. So I think the process itself is pretty good. It's a nice way to get a custom fit on a holster and we'll see how it does as far as carrying it, how I like it and everything. But I like the construction of the holster. I think it's a good looking holster. The the belt clip itself doesn't have a whole lot of movement as far as being able to change the, the cant of the gun. It will move just a little bit one way or the other, but it's gonna be more of a straight up and down carry. Um, I like a little bit more of the forward tilt on the gun, so that may be a little bit different for me, but I think this is gonna be fine. We'll, we'll try this and uh, I'll let you know how I like it in a few weeks. So check out DoubleEagleGunWorks.com, like and subscribe down at the bottom, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.